Welcome to what I know is going to be the cutest video until baby arrives. I'm definitely going to put together a essentials video for preparing for your newborn baby. I found it such a broad topic when I started researching. It's taken me a lot of time, a lot of chatting to mums, and I just want to put a concise video together that is a lot more practical than going through all the cute bits and bobs. So I'll definitely be releasing that, but for now, all of this lovely stuff here has either been bought by myself, mostly in the sales, and also gifted by the lovely people in my life. So, the first thing, going into a new year, somebody had to gift me a born in 2023 sleep suit. So that is very cute, isn't it? I think everyone that is getting baby clothes as presents as you're going into a new year, it has to have 2023 on it, doesn't it? The next thing, this is also gifted. I had such a lovely experience. The majority of things that I've got here, they are new because they were in sale. It was free delivery. They arrived in bulk and it just made sense to do things that way for the large proportion. I've just timed it so well with Black Friday and Christmas sales and New Year and things. But I have got a proportion of things from Vintage so that I can support people selling their bits and bobs. They're looking to buy new things for their baby now that they don't need certain things anymore. And also it's a little bit more sustainable, isn't it? So I bought something off a young lady who I've now chatted to online. She's so, so lovely. And she was actually on The Voice and she's a really lovely singer and we got chatting about that. But she connected me to a company called Alluring Bows and they do these gorgeous little bows. Even though I'm not a huge cutesy baby person yet, I know bows are gonna be the thing, the bigger the better. So she sent me this little bow and these little booties, which I don't have any other booties. These are the only ones that I have. And they're just, I think there's something about baby booties and shoes that is just so adorable. And she also sent this newborn, my little chick, little sleep suit, which is a lovely hybrid between being really practical, but really pretty. And the detailing is so nice. And I can honestly say that it is definitely up there in my top favorites out of, yeah, out of everything that I've got here. I just think this is so lovely. And I think because I'm having an April baby, sometimes there's that little chill in the air, isn't it? So I think just because this is really soft and a little bit thicker, that'll be really lovely for her for when she's only just born. So that is really, really lovely. I'm super aware that that candle is there. I've just bought it from Aldi and it's rose scented and it's like living in Turkish delight. So I don't want to blow it out, but I'm also aware that I don't really want to set things on fire. So if I keep looking that way, that's why. So we've got this little sleep suit from Jules and look how beautiful the print is. And it's got their little embroidered rabbit on it. And yeah, the print is just so beautiful. And I don't know if anyone else agrees, but some of the designs designs for babies, they don't seem to have evolved in terms of the pattern and things for a long time. I think materials have in terms of organic, vegan, breathable, that kind of thing. But I really struggled at first to find things that I could get into liking. I am getting more flexible with my taste now, but there's certain things that I find and I think, yes, that's what I had in my mind. And this is definitely one of them. So Jules have a brilliant sale on at the moment, and this will be going live whilst the sales are still pretty buoyant. I also have these little newborn vests as well. And I think these are smashing. The person who gifted me these, they got me two in the assumption that baby probably wouldn't have them for long before getting them dirty. So here's the second one to put on the baby. Honestly, I'm going to have such a shock when she's here. Another newborn sleep suit. I've got quite a few things here from John Lewis and I've noticed that this pattern and the designs that they have are just sort of adapted into different things. So you can just kind of buy them in bulk and multi-packs and get them in the wash if babies need a lot of changing. Also, John Lewis have a really good sale on at the moment. So if you are still wanting to do some baby shopping, then it is definitely worth having a look at John Lewis. They do things like these in multi-packs, which again is just a similar print to what I showed you before, but there's just different variations there. They're nice and simple, very basic, just so that you can keep changing baby, get them in the wash. It's so nice sitting by a fire. I still don't have any furniture. However, my sofa, which is intended for a different property, is arriving early, so I'm going to steal it. <laughs> so you can look forward to that. I'll actually be sat on something soon. So just to vary the newborn, bits and bobs that I've got. This is a little dress and I'm not sure if you'll get to wear this, it will be warm enough, but it was from Matalan and it was £2.50 in the sale. So we ended up with that. 
I like the idea of getting some newborn and then in case baby is a little bit taller or a little bit chunky because she's definitely not starved in there. I like the idea of getting up to one month clothes as well, just so that I've got in between newborn and naught to three months. So I got these up to one month, which I think are really lovely. They've just got like little rabbits on. Again, just a nice variation of each one. That one's really nice. It's got little flowers on and just really easy to wash. And these are Fred and Flo, which I think is Tesco. Sorry, Tesco, if that's not right, but I find supermarket baby clothes are just really, really nice. And I think my favorite has to be Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's have really, really lovely designs. So we have those in a one month. And also I got some super cheapy ones just from Primark. I didn't even know that it was a thing that you could get naught to one month. So when I saw these, I was like, oh, these look a great size. So yeah, just really easy to wash and nice little prints. This one's got little stars on and there's a plain one there in kind of like a lilac-y color. And then there's one with little fairies on, which is very cute. But what I will say is there is an obvious difference. This pack of three was seven pounds and this pack was nine pounds from Tesco we think. And you can definitely tell that there is a huge quality difference. Now, the person who's gifted me these bought two of everything. And that person bought two of everything. Is it a thing that when we buy things for other people, we buy two? I'd like two of everything when I get presents. I have a sleep suit. And I don't actually know where these are from, but they're kind of animal printy, which I really like. And yeah, they're very cute. A little long sleeve top and some leggings as well. And there's two of those. And then I think there are some matching hats somewhere to match the leggings, which will be very nice. I'm honestly overwhelmed by people's kindness. People who I've worked with and you know when you're at work and you just have a good time and you think you've done a really good job for people and you just really have a nice day, you just carry on with a happy vibe and you don't realize in the background how much people appreciate the effort that you put in sometimes and the vibe that you give and I've just been really overwhelmed by the people who have just come forward and done really nice things for me because it's a special time in my life to show that they just really appreciate me as a person. And I think, yeah, I've just been so warmed by other human beings and I generally keep myself to myself and I'll chat to anybody, but I am um, I can be quite introverted. I'll go in my crazy cave, I forget to come out. And you just don't realize that people in the world see more of you than, than you realize and appreciate you. And it's just been, yeah, it's just been the most beautiful time. I won't keep gushing. So more supermarket baby bits and bobs. These are nutmeg, which, is Morrison's, I believe, and they just do really nice designs. It's everyone's into the rainbow theme at the moment, and there's a lot of unicorns going on. But yeah, these are like nine pounds for two, and this was a naught to three months. So they, they didn't even need to be in the sale. They're just such a good price. And again, like the ones that we looked at from Fred and Flo, just really nice quality, and they just feel like they'll wash really well. Now the white company, the white company just does, uh, it's just understated and pretty basic but there's just something so lovely about them. They're just so, they're just such great quality. And I just know that I'll enjoy a really fresh baby that just feels lovely in white company things. So I do have a few bits from the white company. I can't remember how much I paid for this. This was one of the first things that I bought actually. Yeah, it's just, it's just completely basic, but I just love the quality of them. They're just so good from there. This one, I like that because it's got a print on the back. This was gifted. No idea where this is from, but I very much like the bears on it. <laughs> and I'm sure she will too. Marks and Spencers. Marks and Spencers do a vast array of baby clothes. So if you want variety, go into Marks and Spencers because they just have a ton of stuff. And I picked up, I mean, this was, this was £1.99. And I basically just picked it up because it's a little sundress. If we go to the park and it's a warm day, she'll need little things like that. So why not get them whilst they're too pounds. I'm a little bargain hunter, aren't I? If you follow me on Instagram, you'll be familiar with my yellow stickers. I do love a 24 pence carrot cake. <laughs> More hats and matching leggings for the double set that I was gifted. I need to find out if that was a thing because when I've gifted, I just buy one. This is more of the John Lewis things and you basically just get a little matching hat. And hats are something I don't have a lot of unless they've come with something by default. So definitely on my list is to get a variety of hats for newborn so that she's definitely nice and toasty when she comes out of hospital. And 
I'm still to decide on my birthing plan, by the way. It's something that has changed quite a lot for me. And the more information that I get, the more I just want to have a think about what it is. And also because I've moved cities, I now need to factor in the complications of travel time and things. So I just want to make sure that my choices are in line with the practicalities of what can happen now that I'm in a new city, because it is a lot more complicated. More from John Lewis. And these are really nice. They've got little raised little ears and things. And and yeah, just little rabbits. There's a blue one. There's some little heart ones there. The rabbit is really nice on the front. And again, they were £17 for three, but they were in the sale and they are still in the sale now. So dungaree sets. I think are the cutest. I really love them on little boys. And as you know, I thought I was having a boy to begin with. Everyone was telling me I was having a boy. Everyone was saying that all the, the kind of ways that I was feeling just was very boy related. And the fact that I wasn't very poorly, I couldn't be having a girl. And she's creating mischief already because she's not a boy, she's a girl. And I just got really into dungaree things for boys and then had to find the girl equivalent. So here we are. I ordered this from Boots. This is um, a mother care item. This is one to three months, which is really, lovely and it's just got the little vest inside there which is a long sleeve one I also got some ones that are a little bit bigger and these are from John Lewis this one which is a little bit thicker it's like a corduroy the vest isn't really my thing so I might swap that out but I thought the actual dungaree section was really lovely and again it was in the sale so I just couldn't go wrong even not in the sale it's like 13 pounds I really like this one in green as well and this is a tiny bit thinner but still okay if it's a little with chili cardigans gifted look how tiny that is <laughs> that was from darren's mom actually she's found all the knitwear there's something with oh yeah this one she's managed to find a sparkly knit i don't know what this type of knit is called but i haven't seen it on baby stuff since the 80s so this is kind of like really vintagey i need to take her somewhere posh i feel in that <laughs> These I need to get more of. I picked it up on a whim because I did the whole Christmas shopping thing whilst I had a little bit of time. And this was just seven pounds from Matalan, which is a Disney baby one. You do need to have a look at the TOG rating when you're deciding on your sleep bags because it does matter the time of year that you have your baby and how big they are. This one is naught to six months, but baby can't go in it until it is, yeah, it has to be 8.8 .8 pounds or bigger, so. I think she'll be smaller than that when she's born. So I'll have a little look at those and I'll include them on my essentials list. This, totally premature. This caught my eye with the little ears on it. <laughs> <laughs> and it is the right size for when we get the colder weather here in the UK. And it was just eight pounds from Matalan. And the ones that I'd been looking at before were I think 38 pounds. So it was a really good deal. And yeah, it just looks lovely and warm for her. I can always gift it if, if it's not the right size by the time it gets to our winter. I just had to change my battery because I've just been talking too much. This is far too much fun. I have never bought from Frugged before. And I'm not sure if I would again in the near future, purely because I just had such a nightmare with chasing when the order was going to be dispatched and then it got lost in the post and although customer service was brilliant they were really quick really pleasant and they really did try to sort things it was just such a battle that I think I'll stick with the ones that have been a bit easier for now and then I might try and look further down the line but I did get these really and they come in these lovely little pouches that you can use for other things and the prints are beautiful it feels really good quality and it's organic cotton you get these little hats that come that match, which are very cool. They were in the sale and it was the first sale that I'd seen for babies. So I picked these up and I thought these were just really, really lovely. Pop them back in the bag, keep them tidy. And you have to wash everything as well. I'm waiting for that nesting hormone to kick in where I just want to obliterate everything, which would take me some time in this house because there's a lot to do. These aren't baby clothes, but I got them at the same time as that order. And they're basically just lots of body washes, shampoo, and mum and baby can use them. A range of natural products, harnessing the three key sensory aspects of baby development, smell, touch, and sound to soothe, calm, and relax both parent and baby. I'm not sure how sound comes in, but they sound great anyway. And it comes in this really nice little bag. Those were massively discounted. And I know that there's a time when you start to introduce baby to things that aren't just kind of water. 
and I think those are a nice consideration when I've looked into things a little bit further and I can smell through the bag and they do smell lovely. I'm a big fan of yellow because it reminds me of happiness and sunshine. Mother Care have this one in. You can pick this up in the sale in Boots and that is really lovely. This is one of the one to three months one, which would be perfect for the time of year that she'll be that size. These you can pick up also from Boots and they're another Mother Care item and they have the little ears on the hood. And I think it's just nice to have some plain cardigans just for if you're going for a walk and it is a little bit cooler. I also got this one, they'd run out in the size above, but this is a really lovely one. And yeah, I think it's a koala, but that is very lovely. And the lining is beautiful. It's got a lovely pattern to it and it just feel, feels like, it's not too bulky, but it'll be nice and warm. H&M, H&M is somewhere that I really do rate for maternity wear and kind of day-to-day -day basics for when you're an adult. But I hadn't tried the baby stuff before and I did send some of it back, not because there was anything wrong with it. It was just that I had quite a lot of this sort of tone from them, which I really like, obviously <laughs> it matches me really well. I felt that because I'm not used to dressing a baby in beige things, I didn't know if it'd look a little bit insipid and I might not want to dress her that often in things that don't have a little bit more warmth to them in terms of tone so i just bought these two little things because they appealed to my style i like the mushrooms on this one i think she'll look really cute in it and maybe you know we can kind of judge it out with a bow or something if we're if we're not in and around the house i'm so excited for the bow side of things this lot literally just came so i don't actually know what these are about and this is actually only half the delivery but it is quite samey that i just bought some things in a different size because i wasn't sure how big they'd need to be i hear from my mum's group that this brand it washes really really well and their price tag is obviously higher than supermarket baby things because it is a dedicated baby store and you can tell that they put a lot of time into quality and design there and this is jojo mum and baby it's somewhere that i really like nosying and i was really happy when their sale came on because their stuff is just so cute so i got her a few rompers this one Darren picked out, <laughs> which has got pelicans and parrots and all kinds of things going on. And that's another little cute romper. I think I am working overseas when it will just be starting to come a little bit chillier here. So I'll still need things that are a little bit warm because I'll be traveling with the baby. So I think it's good to have a real mixture for me. This is another romper. And yeah, you can just tell the quality is just brilliant and they almost feel indestructible. They just feel such good quality. And I really like that the prints and the designs are different to anything else that, remember me talking earlier on in the video where you can just get really good practical things that you can just put in the wash and if baby's going through a lot of changes, then you can just keep washing and they're all very practical. I think these are just what you'd have in the drawer for when you're going out for the day or maybe you've got somebody coming over for coffee and you just want kind of some cute baby clothes for the afternoon. Yeah, really, really like those yellow again i just think that's just so so nice and you can just tell when you get them out of the packet that they're just lovely thick good quality fabric kind of keep saying that but it's true and yeah sunshine colors again and this one's got little ducks and things on it which is really nice and i can order some more bows from alluring bows and i don't know when they need booties um but i think i'll get some little socks and maybe some booties and i'm definitely going to get all of their bows in every single color and their little hats and things absolutely check them out and the lady is a small business and she's just the nicest person on instagram she's just yeah she's just adorable and i just i really love buying from people that are really passionate about what they're selling and you can tell she just loves babies and baby designs and communicating with people she's just such a lovely person look at that this is a party dress for next winter. Imagine this in December, maybe November, and it's got a lovely bow on the back. And it's just really nice if you just go out and there's a tea party, I'm gonna be that person. Yeah, just going for like nice coffee or if there's a little baby event or something for mums and all those wonderful things that I'm gonna get involved in. And I just thought it was gorgeous. I'm not that person that buys things to hoard for the future. I don't like to plan too far in advance and the chances are I might be away for the winter. And I, I didn't have many things growing up, so it just seems to be my thing that I, I'm not massively comfortable having a lot of stuff and I have a clear out so frequently and my friends love it. This means that this dress has to be special because I would never have bought something that far in advance normally. Bibs are something that I need to get more of and I know that you go through a gazillion of them apparently. These ones I have that came by default with the outfits that were gifted that I showed you earlier and these ones I picked up just because I thought they were interesting in that they've got this kind of plasticky sort of back to them in that it's meant to save their clothes a little bit if there's slops and things but I don't know if they're a good idea to have or not and otherwise why wouldn't everybody be 
value in it, but I'll try them out and see if they are a good thing for baby. I tell you what I really do like, and I think Sainsbury's do it, and there's another baby company that I noticed do it as well. I don't think everywhere does it, but I'm not saying it's uncommon, that they color code the little poppers and then you don't get in a model with them, which I thought was really clever. Got some more things from the White Company. In fact, I do have a couple more clothing items for the White Company, but I can't see them, but they're basically in line with the last things that I bought. I popped to the White Company a couple of days ago and I bought this little leather bag for my hospital bag. Just because I don't have one, I just think it's such a beautiful color. I have been walking around with all of my cosmetics in airplane bags, the ones that you get when you go through security. And I literally walk around with these little plastic bags with my bits and bobs in, and I really need to stop doing that. But I mean, I've just always found it pointless emptying it into a plastic bag and then back again. So it's just easier for me to keep it in there. But because I'm going into hospital and I need a wash bag, I'm getting organized earlier and I'm gonna stop being that person that lives with little plastic bags. I also picked up these at the White Company and it's just a little hat and there's some little mittens. I do need to get some newborn ones, although I think my best friend has some on radar, so I haven't bought them yet. She's putting a little pack together, bless her. And that's everything in there. These types of things, I think I'll probably go through on my essentials video, but basically you need a million muslin cloths and I've picked some up from a few places. They all seem to be a little bit samey. These ones in particular from Primark, they've got nice designs on them and just a bit different from the plain ones that I bought from Amazon. These ones are the 70 by 70 ones, but I did get some, I think they're 33 by 33 waffly muslin cloths just to go on your shoulder in case there's any dribbles and they've got different designs and things. So I'll probably show you those in my essentials video, but I've just got a couple of cellular blankets. I think I've got a cotton one, the wool one. This is a travel changing mat which will be really useful for me travel baby things has definitely been a thing for me to look into with being away so much for work so i have a few bits and bobs that i think will be really practical for me these comforters are very cute and this one is actually from a lady who i did a transaction with on vinted and something got left out of the parcel so she had to follow up with it but we had so many nice conversations that she sent me this as a little present for the baby when she comes and i think that is the nicest part of all of this that the people who have been kind enough to send me things i'll think of them and their kindness when i use them and even the people who you know you feel sometimes when you give a gift voucher or you just club together and give some cash for somebody to go and buy something you kind of feel like it's not very thoughtful and I really think it is because I've chosen things that I'm going to use every day and I'll associate using that and that helpfulness of the product whatever it is with the people who've been really kind to me and I'll always think of them and it will always add that little touch of loveliness to my day and I've just really appreciated how wonderful everyone's been to me so I'm full of little teddy bears I definitely don't need any more I have lots of those <laughs> I think there's even cheese biscuits in there. I mean, this blanket just doesn't get any better, does it? I've just realized how weather affected my hair was in that last video. So I've just run a brush for it slightly self-conscious. So I think my approach has been to stay economical in terms of things that probably aren't going to last very long, uh, i.e. baby's gonna grow out of them quite quickly and use that budget towards things that I'm gonna enjoy or need to last a little bit longer. I've absolutely enjoyed bargain hunting and I've also been really pleasantly surprised by the quality particularly of the supermarket stuff. I just think it's really, really good. And you know that I've been to Harrods and around all the high-end shops and I'm still really, really pleased with everything that I've got that is on the budget side of things. And then I can save that budget and I can treat myself to some high-end things for her. And like I say, put money into the more practical things and technology I'm going to need to last a little bit longer. So thank you for sharing what has been a longer video today, but I really did enjoy that. I do have a pram reveal video on radar to do, which I'm really excited about. So you can look forward to that with me and I'll see you in the next one.